Hello, today I will be showing you how to import custom characters into Melee. So let's say you have a custom character and you don't want them to replace anyone. You want to have all 26 characters and I just want to have like one extra character here or whatever. So yeah, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is open up Max Tool. Um, by the way, everything will be linked in the description. And you want to open a normal melee ISO. And you will want to export any character. Now, it's better to ex no. You want to export the character that your character is based off of. That way, you can. Th no, let me explain something. So when you export a character. They will have files that, they'll have specific files that you will need that are hard to make. So unless you already created those assets specifically for the custom character, you don't need to export the character. But I'm just going to assume that uh, you're a beginner and you don't know what this is. So, for example, the files that exporting a character will include is for example these videos for the classic mode and stuff and it will also include sound files and stuff like that so i am going to be importing peppy which is a character that i created um i already imported him but i'm just going to be using him that way you don't have to create a brand new character so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click falco because he is the character that peppy is based off now i'm going to click export and then now you can put it anywhere you want on your computer. It'll save as a zip folder. So you basically just want to find wherever you want to put it. So I'll just save it here. And now the character's files will be wherever you export it. So we can um, we can close Mextool now. Okay, here I am inside of my folder I just made a tutorial folder and the zip file is right here Falco and as you can see all of his stuff are right here so you can see look you got all this you got that and blah 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 so now let's say I'm going to assume that you only created a moveset um and uh costume now if you created animations then you need to get an animation folder um if you're care if you have a character that replaces somebody else and you don't want them to replace anybody you can just export that character and then import them into a normal melee build but you would if you want to do that you would have to change the, all the things that are in the fighter so i would have to change like maybe the name yeah like if I, blah 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 so if you want to do that then you could just export the character that replaces somebody else then you just gotta change up this and change the file names then you could import them but this is just for if you want to import a new character that you never imported at all so I am going to find all my assets for my character and I'm going to bring them into my import tutorial folder or wherever, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so I got my assets. I'm just making a moveset and um, this. So to, if you want to add the costume, which you don't actually need to do, but you can do it if you want, you would basically just make a zip folder. You would right click new that and then you would import the costume their stock account and their csp this so this is an old thing that i made in january or february i guess and um yeah so these are not like these are my old stock icons that i made this one looks horrible um but yeah so now that you have your little costume and your moveset or whatever you're going to want to create another zip folder and you are going to call it whatever you want i'm just going to call it peppy so then you want to go into falco and you are going to want to bring 
all of well most of these assets to to wherever you have pet where you have the peppy zip so I'll click on Falco and what do I need to grab so you need to grab most of it I'll tell you what you need based on what we do so these are the effects these top two things are the effects so um yeah I don't I didn't make effects for Peppy so I am just going to copy these and put them into the import tutorial folder and next we have this YML file this is extremely important and you need it so you're going to bring it to where we got the Peppy zip it's better if you use multiple folders but it doesn't really matter here are the videos um, I didn't make any videos for him, so I'll put them there too. Then you have this. I'm not sure what this is. I never checked. You probably check, but I didn't. Um, I believe, I'm not sure what this is. Put it here. Then I think this is his name call. If I can double click. Yeah, it is. So I'll bring this here too. Next we have his moveset. I already created a moveset, so I'm not going to copy this. Next we have animation. I did not make animations. So I am also going to bring this over. Now I'm not going to add alts. Um, because I already made a folder even though you don't need to. Then you have this. Seems like more animation stuff. You have some that Kirby thing, I believe. Then you have this sound. And you just bring that all here. So now if we go back, you can see all of this stuff. Sorry, I had to cut the video. I had to do something. And now I have all the Falco assets that I didn't make for my custom character inside of this folder. So if I open up Peppy, there should be nothing. And the first thing is well you want to put everything in there so i have his move set right here and i'll copy it make sure that things like the move set have unique file names any any custom things that you made should have unique file names and then i want to put these effects as well and puppy so yeah he is getting his files and so I can put these, copy them to that. Then I want to import these. You got his Kirby hat and some animation stuff. You got this name call. You have this stuff. And done. so what you don't want to have is, well, you want to have everything except for this fighter YML. If you Im if you put it if you put the fighter YML in here, you could just delete it. So now we want to open this up. This is very important. So you want to scroll down, and then eventually you should find some new stuff. And I'll just keep scrolling, and here we are. So um. So I want to change like the name text and the fighter data path. This is some stuff that I actually change. So I will change this to dot pv because that's what I named it. Um, then next we have the name text. You can change this to whatever you want as well. I'll just call it Peppy. So now it should be done. You have to change anything. So for example, if you make custom animations. You gotta change this, but it's super easy. This insignia ID is like their series icon. So this will have a Star Fox logo, and Mario characters will have the Mario logo, etc. Um, I'm not gonna go over that. I'll change it to six or something, just so I can show you what. It, eh, it doesn't matter. You can just change that when you import him, anyways. So now I'm done. So I wanna click file, and then save. And it should say, so if I close it and reopen it, and here we are, it saved. 
So yeah, then we can close that. And then we can bring the new slider into this. And now everything should be in here. And now we can reopen Max Tool. All right, here I am in Max Tool. Um, I have my vanilla melee ISO. You got everything on here. And now I want to import my zip. So I'm gonna click import. And now you need to find the zip folder that you created. So mine is called Peppy. So I'm gonna go find that because, well, yeah. So import tutorial and hit Peppy and then hit open. And it might give you this warning. See, sound bake was named falco.ssm. Are you just using existing? Yeah, this appears because, well, you need to rename stuff. I didn't create audio for him, so I'm just gonna click OK. Now he'll be here. So he might still have alts from the other characters, and you'll just want to delete the costumes. So you just hit this minor button. Are you, this minus button, are you sure you want to delete the second costume? Yes. Do you want to delete the costume file as well? Yes. And you want to do that for all the other costumes. Now we should have no costumes. So yeah, see so look, this saved, you got player data file and stuff. And then this would be insignia ID number two. And what you want to do, I don't know why it shows you why, it doesn't matter. Anyways, you want to add your costume. So you click this little box with the plus, and then you want to find your costume. So I already have all my costumes. So I have imported all my costumes. However, they do not have a stock icon or a CSP, aka character select portrait. So to replace the stock icon, you're going to click this white Mario stock icon with the little undo button. When you hover over it, it should play with place stock icon. So you just want to click on that, and then you want to find your stock icon. So I'll go in here, and wait, there's a neutral route. Yes. So you gotta find it. Um, finish there. So now I have the stock icon. Um, you don't need to add the stock icon if you don't. Then it'll just be blank. And you don't need to add the CSP. If you don't add the CSP, it'll just choose a random character. I think I just added Ganondorf CSP. Um, so now I have one, and now I want to do that for the CSP. So I go to the Mario CSP with the little undo thing. When you hover over it, it should play repl replace CSP. You just want to click on that, and then you want to find your CSP. So I'm going to click it, and then you just gotta wait a second, and it should load. So now that's there, and then you will basically just want to do this for all the other costumes. So I'm going to skip through this, and I'll do it. Okay, I've got all the stock icons. The reason why the one on the blackout looks weird is because I couldn't find the stock icon for it. I don't know why, but yeah, I just used the old one that I made, and I know it looks horrible. And now you want to do it for the CSPs. Okay, I've done it, and now they should all be here. And now we have the character. However, there is one thing we need to do before we export the ISO. So what you want to do is hit this. You want to go to menus, CSS editor, once it's plus. And you want to drag it to wherever you want. Um, I'll, oh crap. I'll put it here. And then we want to click this fighter thing. And it should be a drop down menu. You can scroll down, click your character. And I don't want it to be the Dr. Mario icon. You can make this any image you want, but I, yeah, you could create your little own icon. Um, so, I'll click this, and here we go. We got him right here. And now, we have successfully imported him, put him on the menu, and there's one thing. So, if you click this little play icon, this animation will play, where the animation, the, the, the icons will go down. So if you don't want the animation, I'll teach you how to remove it. So you want to click the icon, and you want to hit this end button. And then you got to perfectly align it. So you're going to scroll in. Um, 
I think that's the best I've got. So I just click start. Okay, it doesn't move anymore. Good. I like that. Cool. So now we have successfully imported it and we've done literally everything. So now we want to click file, export as ISO. Then you can go to your desktop and you can name it whatever you want. Um, so yeah, then you hit save and now you just gotta wait for it to save. And then once it saves, I'll go into Dolphin and open it up. Okay, so I just realized something. Max is kind of broken. So I'll probably do this in the Akinea build, actually. Um, my, it might get fixed. It probably will get fixed. But I'm just going to do this in the Akinea build so it doesn't crash. And I can actually show it off. Or I could just use my old ISO. But yeah, if this happens to you, it should not be happening. And it's just because of the mechs being broken, and I've done this before. So I'm just going to use an old ISO where I've already imported Peppy. Alright, so I've opened up Dolphin, and yeah, I, that the animation was still there. But as you can see, our character is successfully imported into the game. So you still got Falco right there. And I'll just hit start, and I'll go into Final Destination. I'll show off some things. So, yeah, here is my character, right there, and I can do stuff, so that the sign is a meteor. He still uses fuck of sounds and stuff, but, yeah. Um, so, that's how you import the character. And, um, I'll just show you that Falco didn't break, because I showed you that the shine is a meteor, so now I'll show you that He's not broken. So I'll just click green, I guess. We're going to final destination. Here we are. And Peppy shine, and Falco shine still goes up. So yeah, um, that's how you import a character successfully into Melee. And that's it. Bye. Go!